What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I wanna go over how to create some Deep House lead sounds in Vital. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be making three different lead sounds and these are gonna be similar to the style of Cream, which are this duo that are very popular in the selected style Deep House and Tech House genres. They're very popular for the style of leads I'm going to be making today, which are very heavily dependent on using saw waves. I'm going to be making them in Vital. I have another video in which I do make these sounds in Serum, so you can check that out instead if you have Serum as opposed to Vital. Here is Vital. I have it opened up. Let's go ahead and just play a note on here. I also have some MIDI opened up. Just a very easy, simple melody with a growl bass and a kick underneath it. I'm gonna be using this initial preset because this is basically a saw wave. And what I first am gonna do is adjust my envelope one. And I'm just gonna be hitting these notes on my keyboard so I can hear how it sounds. Maybe I'll adjust the decay to about there and then hit this little slope. And then I will turn on my white noise. And after that, I'm going to assign my envelope to the filter. Let's turn on the filter and I can change this to, let's do a 24 dB curve on there. And I'm gonna lower this resonance a bit and assign my envelope one to the cutoff here. And all I do is just click here and then drag it to there. That's what it's gonna sound like. So I'm gonna take this cutoff down all the way and then drag this modulation to basically 100%. And also you can hear that white noise isn't being filtered. So just make sure to click and turn on the SMP to turn on the white noise to be under that filter. So now the white noise is gonna be filtered as well. So that's basically that pluck sound, the very beginnings of that pluck sound. So let's go into my effects now. We're gonna add on a compressor. It's already set at the multi-band for the default. Maybe I'll make some adjustments. Then maybe I'll add on an EQ. So we have a lot of low end. I'm just gonna add a low cut there. And maybe I'll add a bell here. I want it to be pretty bright. So you can play around with that there just to get a bit more brightness out of it. We can add on a delay, put that delay after the EQ. I like to use the ping pong delay. That's pretty intense. Let's put on this filter here. Turn down the mix a tiny bit. Then we can add on our reverb. And of course, you don't have to use the reverb in Vital, but I'm just gonna be using it in Vital for now. Usually, maybe I'll use like a Valhalla Vintage Verb. And the thing with Deep House and Selected Style Deep House is you can really lay on this reverb pretty thick on these style of leads. So that sounds pretty intense, but let me just listen to it in this MIDI that I have here. And so you can hear I'm playing around with this decay, so I'm getting a bit more pluckiness if I lower it, and I'll usually keep it somewhere maybe around under one second or so. Now that is gonna be the basic of that lead pluck, so that's gonna be the first one. And now what I can do is go back to my voicing here and then just start making some more adjustments to create our next two sounds. So for the second sound, I'm gonna actually raise up the unison here. So I'm gonna click and drag here to get seven voices. And then I'm going to adjust the detune. I'm gonna raise this up. That's too much, so let's take it down. And maybe what I'll do is I'll take this decay down a bit more and go to my filter. So I could leave it on 24, or maybe I want to just try this 12 dB, see how that sounds.
and I could raise up that cutoff just so I can hear more of that saw wave sound. You could add some drive, and maybe I'll just take off the delay here. And let's just hear how that sounds. And you could use that in a melody like that, or maybe I could use it in a melody where it's just a couple of stabs. So let's just hear how these stabs sound. You'll often hear Cream do, do those style of stabs where they just happen periodically with some kind of melody. So that was basically the second sound, and let me go into the third variation that I can show you. So I'm going to turn on the second oscillator, and I'm going to turn down the unison here, and let's just go ahead and play this. So I'm going to adjust the pitch on the actual oscillators. And I'm gonna turn off this white noise. And now I'm just adjusting this filter here. So when you do turn on another oscillator, just make sure to turn on the filter for that oscillator. And maybe I will play around with this curve here. And I'm gonna to go to my effects and I could try to add on some distortion. So let's put that after the compressor. Maybe I will do, let's do sine fold. Maybe I'll turn down the mix a bit. And I could also try putting on a chorus now to widen it up because it sounds pretty mono. And let's go ahead and play around with this chorus effect. And now I'm just adjusting the K here. And let's go ahead and hear it with one of these melodies I've got in the track. And you can play around with the chorus to make it a bit wider because when you're only using one unison here, it's going to sound very mono. And so by adjusting the pitch here, I'm adding a bit of detuning there and then adding the chorus, I'm getting that spread effect. So in Serum, you have that almost dimension hyper expansion type of filter plugin effect, but I don't know if it's on Vital. So I think you just have to do that type of effect with the chorus. Otherwise, I'd probably use that um, hyperdimension effect like in Serum. This third sound sounds pretty similar to the second one. And we could even try this other melody here, just hear how it sounds with this other melody. So you could have some random stabs within your track using that type of lead sound. So that was three sounds. And let me just show you a fourth version we could do real quick. I could just turn that oscillator two off and then raise up the unison to four here. And then you have just another variation and that sounds really similar to that second lead. Just remember that as you are creating these presets to click up here and save them as a preset, give them a name, add the style and then hit save. And that will really help you create your own collection of presets. And so I'm actually going to include a link to download these three sounds down below. So if you do want to grab them, you can grab them by checking out that link down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give a like. And also please consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed. And finally, if you are truly looking to improve your mixing skills, then check out my Modern Mix Academy. This is going to be a full online mixing course that I created that will help you make some of the best records of your life from the comfort of your own home. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.